In today's video tech tip, we will cover standard naming. Standard naming can be used to create a document that has standardized classes, layers, and sheet layer names. This can be used as a template for a single user or a company-wide standard. To use standard naming, go to File, Document Settings, Standard Naming. In this dialog box, you can choose the standard you wish to have your information placed into. Here, I'm going to leave it at VWARC and then click on Details. From this window, you can check to see how the classes, design layers, sheet layers, viewports, and save views are going to be labeled. For this demonstration, I'm going to focus on the classes. Here we have two columns. The Reference Standard column is a standard that is used to define the default mapping of classes. The Active Standard column is used to show what classes are going to be used in the document. At the bottom, you can choose the attribute properties of each individual class. When you're done reviewing the information, click OK. Back in the standard naming dialog, in order to have objects automatically placed into these classes, check the box Enable Auto Classing. If you already have information in the file that can be auto-classed, you will get this dialog box that will allow you to rename existing information and to the standard names you had set. To rename this information, hit Yes. In the document, I'm going to place in a base cabinet. You will notice that when the cabinet is placed in, it is going into the Millwork main class, one of the default standard names. If you wish to use your own custom standard to map the information from the standard naming dialog, select from Users 1 through 3 and then click on Details. Now you can select one of the classes and type in what you wish to have the class renamed to. You have the ability, if desired, to choose the same name for multiple classes. For example, I'm going to take all of the DOOR reference standard classes and map them to DOOR NEW. When you are finished applying the changes, click OK. Notice when I place a door, it will automatically go into the door new class. If I attempt to change the class, it will automatically revert back to the standard I had set. This concludes our video tech tip. To see a list of how the information is mapped to the standards, please be sure to check out Auto Classing Objects in our Vectorworks Knowledge Base. Thank you for joining us and have a wonderful day.